Morning, HPC. Great stuff this morning, I thought, from Chester and from um, Hebrews chapter 6 in particular. Brilliant reflection. If you're living in unrepentant sin, then hear the warning in this passage. Be afraid and let your fear drive you to Christ. But if you are trusting in Christ, then don't be afraid. Be greatly encouraged, says verse 18 of chapter 6. For it is impossible for God to let you go. Hallelujah. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that brilliant? I mean, both that if we are um, if we are conscious of unrepentant sin, if we if we're living separate from Jesus uh, in our lives, then come to him, come to him and uh, and find rescue, find forgiveness. And if we are day by day confessing our sins, if we're living the life of faith, the life of of daily repentance, then it is impossible for God to let us go. Isn't that glorious? Isn't that brilliant? Think of all the things that you're um, you're facing and and you're fearful of as a Christian. Uh, well, it is impossible for those things to uh, to remove you from your Father's hand, even your sin. If it is forgiven and paid for in Jesus Christ as a believing Christian, even your sin will not keep you uh, from your heavenly father. Tremendous stuff. Stuff that makes the makes the heart sing. Should lift the head and send us into the weekend with a spring in our step and joy in our hearts. And I guess a thankfulness to the Lord as well. I thought it was really interesting. Um, wasn't it really interesting the idea that uh, because God is is so keen to make the unchanging nature of his purpose clear he he so passionately wants us to know how um, how how much um, he is for us that he uh, he makes it doubly clear he gives us his word doubly sure i think is how the author to the hebrews puts it he gives us his word and he he promises us on on oath now again as chester helpfully says neither of those things um, are vital no, his word alone is sufficient the word that um uh, that can, that is that flows from the goodness of god and that is unbreakable and that uh, causes creation to spring into being uh, all of that is sufficient and yet because he wants us to have confidence um, he confirms it with an oath uh, um uh, two unchangeable things uh, god put his own um, reputation on um on the line and then uh, interesting in in hebrews chapter 6 i hadn't seen it but i guess uh, less easy to see when it's divided up by different days uh, but these two impossible things in hebrews chapter 6 it is verse 4 impossible for those who reject god to be saved it makes sense you know if you if you don't get into the lifeboat you're going down with the ship if you cut off the branch on which you're sitting you're going to fall out of the tree it's just obvious isn't it uh, you know we cannot be saved if we reject um, the lord and his means of salvation the lord jesus christ and it is impossible for god to reject those whom he has promised to save you know if you are in jesus you are safe secure and you are you couldn't be in better hands isn't that fabulous have a really great day hpc and rejoice why don't you pray uh, now just rejoicing in the lord uh, uh, in your security if you're in him